You and Susie are in love with each other. You spend every evening relaxing, walking on the beach, and eating ice cream after having a nice, comfortable dinner. You look down, and you see that you've gotten a little bit of a belly, and you've let yourself go a little bit. But that's okay, because your relationship's great, your life is going great, and that just happens. One day, you catch Susie flirting with neighbor guy, who's more charismatic and stronger than you, and has more ambitions. And you think nothing of it, because you and Susie are in love. She would never break that. Your love can never be broken by some neighbor guy, even if he is more charismatic and ambitious than you are, even if he is stronger and more driven in life. There's no way that Susie would break what you guys have. So over the next couple weeks, Susie starts to lose enthusiasm for <laughs> enthusiasm for hanging out with you. And she starts to lose enthusiasm for going to your weekend movie trips that you guys always go to on the weekends. And she starts to become more enthusiastic about hanging out with neighbor guy. He even invites her on his boat. He says that owning a boat is only the beginning for him. He has ambitions in life that go past just owning stuff like that. He's even learning archery in his spare time, a skill that he's always wanted to learn. He's going for the career that he wants. You've always wanted to go for the career that you wanted and you've always wanted to learn archery in your spare time, but you, but you haven't because you've been too busy being cute with Cindy, with Susie. And over the next couple of weeks, you're in Susie's relationship just starts to go downhill and neighbor guy keeps leveling up. And one day you're dumbfounded by the fact that neighbor guy says he's moving and Susie just comes up to you and says she's going with him. She's leaving you. And you plead with her. You're like, yo, we're high school sweethearts. Remember our first kiss? Remember our first date? Does that mean anything to you? And Susie just shakes her head disappointedly and leaves, goes off with neighbor guy. And you wonder, how did this happen? You look down at yourself, you look at your body, you've let yourself go, you look at your house that's falling apart, you realize you've started to lose respect for yourself and the people around you have lost respect for you too. Can you blame neighbor guy or can you blame Susie? If you can blame Susie, you're still caught up in the lie. You're still caught up in the lie that loyalty means something if you've let go of your dreams and ambitions and the upward trajectory of your life. Because Susie used to be attracted to you. Susie was attracted to you because she thought of you as a winner. She saw that you had an upward trajectory in your life and you got off that trajectory and started to be complacent. Let yourself go. You let your house go. You let your life go. You stopped moving forward. And why would Susie be with a guy like that when a guy like neighbor guy is moving forward. The truth is, he's a better protect, protector and provider for her. She's better off with him. That's not on her, that's on you, my friend. If you want a second chance at being attractive, if you want a second chance on setting up an upward trajectory for your life and getting on it and moving forward, join Understanding Attraction Brotherhood. It's a Facebook group where you'll be surrounded by guys who can guide you, who can inspire you, and guys who you can inspire with your own journey, and guys who you can compete with. If you're open to that, I'll see you there.